Hi guys, uh, Connor here from the Home School Day as an office at Innes Community College. I'm here with Linda Dynan from SCP and today we're just going to do a quick run through on how to make the Christmas wreath. Um, so in your pack you will have the wreath itself, you will have a piece of wire and you will have an array of decorations such as a robin, a pine cone, a few pieces of fruit and a ribbon. Okay. Now, what we have done is we have, to, just to speed up the video, we have a piece of wire attached to each decoration. I'm just going to hand you over to Linda Diney now and she's going to show you how to put the wire on each decoration and how to make the ribbon. Okay, so we start with our pine cone. We're just holding the wire there with our thumb and winding the wire around. Literally just winding it around. And you can see it becomes quite secure. You'll need a longer piece of wire because you'll be putting the wire through and you'll be wrapping it around. Okay, we did the same for our lemons. These are lemons actually, and we just put the wire through and we wrapped it around. Okay, for our bow, we have our bow here together. This is the center of the bow. And we're just going to go down a little bit and decide how big you want your bow to be. So if we walk it down, we're here. We're just going to scrunch it up like that and put our wire around it. Thank you, Connor. So around each bow, tighten it. Then around the next one, same thing, tighten it. And then around the center. Fix your bow then, out your tails. And at the bottom of the bow then you can cut a little design into it. So if we hold our two ribbons together, fold them over, and if we just cut it down like this, away from you, oh, nice design on the bottom of it. Decide then where you're going to place this on your wreath, what you want to be the center of the top and where you want the bottom. So I'm going to place the ribbon on the top of the wreath and again I'm just going to place it there and I'm going to feed the wire through the wreath and tie it onto the frame at the back. Okay, the one piece of advice I will have is that make sure there's no wire sticking out at the back of the wreath in case you damage uh, your front door or knock the paint off your front door. So once you have your ribbon on, you can decide then where you want to put on the rest of the decorations. And so for instance, I'm going to put the robin on. Here, again, I have two pieces of wire attached to the robin's leg. And I'm just going to feed the wire through. And I'm going to wrap it around at the back of the reed, if I can catch it. Okay, I'm going to take a piece of fruit then, and I'm going to again feed the piece of fruit through the reed. Just pull it through. Any excess wire we can cut off again so you won't damage your door. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause now for a second and I'm going to come back with the wreath with the rest of the decorations on and fix properly and we'll show you a few finished solutions. Okay guys, so um, this is my solution to the uh, wreath. There's no problem if you want to do it any way you want, you can or you can put your own design to it. The only thing I forgot to mention is we will give you a piece of string and you need to attach the string onto the back of the frame so that uh, you can hang it on your front door. Um, we have other solutions here. So this one we went to Jimmy's discount store and we bought some decorations. In total it cost five euro. So we got some lights and some balls for the middle of the ribbon here. So you have that option as well if you want to do it. And this is just another one that we did from the Christmas pack you will get. 
Thanks very much, guys, and enjoy the process. Happy Christmas to everybody from the Home School Liaison Office and School Completion. Thank you.